Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And we're actually doing a video that's a little bit different than normally. We're actually talking about a monitor that's a pretty good gaming monitor. If you're in the market trying to get a good monitor and you're gonna get more than those 30 frames or 60 frames, you want something a little bit higher, this may be a good monitor that you actually wanna take a look into. It's the Optics Meg monitor. Um, the number with it is 342 CQR. I had to look over because I don't know the name of that. I'll have it linked down below if you guys are interested in getting this monitor. I'll have it linked down below in the description. And the thing is, this monitor, I will tell you, when I bought it, I purchased it. It was around $250. It was actually on a slight sale. Normally, it retails for $299. But pretty sure if you guys hang on, it's going to go down in price again soon. Now, let's actually get into the monitor. Now, my wife, before this, she had a she had two Dell 2K Infinity Display monitors. And she wasn't really a big fan of it. She actually just did not want to use her setup because it took up a lot of space and was just very clunky. And she wanted something a little bit nicer and probably because she just saw my monitor having that ultra wide 40 inch monitor, she kind of wanted one. So um, she really didn't use her monitor. So I just went out and actually got her one um, to kind of help encourage her to do more PC gaming, especially since we've been playing more on the computers. And this one for her is actually really good. So you're gonna get the 144 refresh rate on this monitor. I know for some people they may talk about like getting 240 or even higher, but this is for a more budget build. So this one does have 144, but I will say that's actually really good for if you're a console gamer, because I think consoles only go up to 120. Now this may be a good setup if you're playing against anyone on console, you maybe you're doing crossplay with them, you know, or you know, a lot of people that may be on PC, but they just don't have a monitor that goes up that high. This one's actually really, really smooth and plain. But I'm actually going to talk about what came inside the box. So when we actually unbox this computer, there wasn't a whole lot in there. You pretty much just get the monitor. You're going to get the stand, the screws to actually mount it if you want to go the mounting option. And then there's a cord, a display cord that's in the box as well, with, uh, obviously with the power. You have three display ports at the bottom. You have two HDMI 2.1 ports and you have one display port at the bottom. Now that actually is cool if you're actually gonna have like maybe your PC using the display port and you have a PlayStation 5 and an Xbox using HDMI ports. That's actually, I think, in my mind, a pretty good setup because you can just use the input to switch between all the different devices. Now I will also say that this monitor does not come with built-in speakers. so. For her, that's not a big deal because I actually had speakers I was able to give to her for her to use. If you don't have those speakers already and you're looking to get a setup, that's something you definitely want to keep in mind. You're gonna need speakers with this monitor setup. Also, there are no USB ports, Thunderbolt ports, anything like that on the monitor. This is strictly just a monitor. So you're not gonna be able to maybe put your computer down and plug it in through USB. If your computer, for example, if you're using a laptop has a USB, you're gonna have to do USB to display, but it's still not gonna transfer over like power and charge it and things like that. So that's something that you also want to keep in mind you're gonna need extra cords if you want to do a laptop with this monitor on top of that on the back of the monitor you do have a little bit of RGB setup going on here now there's like the little ring that goes around the monitor stand um, the, the top portion of it the downside about it is it only plays in rainbow so you can't just set it for blue or purple or pink or red or anything like that you're gonna be stuck with that rainbow color on there now Again, I know this is trying to do a budget build, but it does kind of suck, especially since the fact that we had this monitor up against the wall and at no really point in time did I ever really see it reflect that color onto the wall. The light isn't bright enough to actually kind of show the color displayed on the wall. So you're gonna still need to go out and buy some type of RGB setup to go with it if you actually want that, you know, that glowing look on the wall that a lot of people are into. Now this is a VA display panel. I intentionally got a monitor like this because of the fact that in my wife's room, her setup is literally across from a big window. And as much as I really like those nice crystal type of displays, I knew that if I did that, she was gonna have horrible, horrible glare on it. Now, if you look at literally any of the gameplay or anything that I show in here, it's actually while the windows were wide open, so you can really see what it looks like in that natural environment. And for the most part, it looks really good. I can see a little bit of a glare, but it's nothing that blocks it, it's just, the light is a little bit different from the part where the sun is hitting it to the part that's not, but you can still see everything extremely well. Now the camera doesn't pick up on it as best, but just sitting in front of it, playing it, it's really hard to notice. This is gonna be a great monitor for you. Now because of that, you're gonna also not get the darkest black colors. Um, I do notice it's slightly a little washed out, but it's not that bad. When I, it's, washed out just sounds like a horrible thing, but 
it's not nearly as bad as you would think. It actually looks very, very good. It's just not gonna look the same as this nice crystal monitor that you it, that if you set one next to it, that will look more darker with more blacks. This one is just a little bit lighter, but at the end of the day, it still looks really, really good. It's hard to tell, especially if you're not comparing it with anything, you probably won't really notice it. I personally like this monitor. It also has a very thin bezel that goes around with it. The bottom part has probably the thickest part of the bezel on there. It also has a one millisecond response rate on it and it has a night vision mode in the color accuracy like i said it's pretty good i actually don't have any issues with the color again it's not totally accurate that you would see out you know see compared to other monitors but for the price the coloring is actually really good on this monitor didn't say earlier this is a 34 inch monitor display so it doesn't go to 4k it is 1440p which i think is actually really good for this monitor now i did do a few things here um with the i did hook up for playstation 5 and the thing is just to keep in mind if you're a console gamer just know consoles really aren't supported with ultra wide monitors you can do it. I was actually surprised that by default, the PlayStation 5 just switched over into a widescreen format, but it's not, it doesn't carry over that high resolution detail. It doesn't look horrible. I did just notice a difference. So for example, I went to play Helldivers on her PlayStation and it looked fine on the monitor. It looked totally fine, but I did notice the characters were a little bit more squished and wider, where then I went to my monitor later on, which you'll see in the video. The other computer is a totally different monitor. Um, but when I, you know, ran Helldivers natively from the computer, I can see how the characters are much taller and skinnier. So if it doesn't bother you, it's not a big deal. You can actually hook a game system up to this and play without having those ugly black bars on the side. But just keep this in mind. You can do it for console gaming. I think it'll be fine if you really want to do console gaming. But as for right now, this is probably really best for PC gamers. Obviously, this is basic features, but the monitor stand can obviously go up and down and you also can tilt the monitor. That's not really a big surprise. The one thing I definitely do want to point out as well is that it does have adaptive sync. And that's pretty much to help you with a lot of the screen tearing. Because my monitor doesn't have uh, certain technology like that, like it's an older monitor. Mine's is from, uh, I want to say it's, like a tw it's from 2021. And though that technology, I believe, was out, this monitor didn't have it because it was more, the monitor I got was more for productivity and not so much for gaming. So I do happen to see screen tearing from time to time. But with this monitor, now keep in mind, my monitor is like, at the time, it went down in price at the time. I think it was like a $1,500 monitor. I think now you can get it for like $1,300 on Amazon. I'll link that down below so you can look at it or if you maybe want to pick up that monitor. Go ahead i can do a video on it later if you guys want but that monitor was more for work related task wasn't really for gaming this monitor even though it costs significantly less is so much of a better monitor but that's pretty much it definitely i would recommend picking up this monitor if you're in the market and you have a couple hundred dollars to put towards the screen ultra wide gaming personally to me is so much better that 21 by 9 aspect ratio now i know some people may still be used to 16 by 9 i believe it is i hope i'm getting that number right and they just want that you know that normal screen if that's what you're into that's great i just like having that extra space to be able to kind of have more of a field of range if you're playing games, especially competitively. You can kind of see more around what's going around with you. And it does add a little bit more immersion, especially when you're curved in the middle of it. What do you guys think? Are you actually in the market for a monitor? Is this something that you're actually interested in? And do you want to see more videos like this, more tech gaming related videos? Make sure that you comment all that down below. I'm very interested. I have more ideas I'm thinking about going with it. So if you guys are interested more into the tech side of gaming, Make sure you let me know so I can actually push more of that on the channel. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, try to make this video a little bit shorter, but thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys, and I will catch you all in the next one. See ya.